Yeah. <laughs> I'm exactly. like, okay, I'm in it. <laughs> I am Roxana Lewis. I am a director and writer and choreographer, and producer and I am based currently out of Jacksonville, Florida. Before living in Florida, I actually spent most of my life living up in New York City. I'm originally from Washington, D.C. and uh, moved to New York and had a really wonderful career and a really good life. I thought I'd never leave New York, but I ended up working by coastal in Los Angeles for a while and eventually made my way down to Jacksonville. I went to SUNY Purchase and I initially wanted very much to be a professional dancer. I trained to be a professional ballerina in Maryland with uh, the American, I'm sorry, with Maryland Youth Ballet, who was a pipeline into the American Ballet Theater. So my goal was really to become a ballerina. And at the ripe age of 11, I was told I didn't have the right body to be a ballerina. And I really found my my voice through movement and through the language of dance. And so dancing was a vital part of my learning my first creative voice. And I got my first uh, foray into film and television um, as a choreographer for a music video. And I just basically said yes to every gig I could possibly work on after that as a, as a PA. But I also came in as a assistant producer and line producer, which was really great because it, it gave me all this kind of sense of what was going on behind the scenes. Then I got to work on set out in LA. I worked in the art department. I worked in probably every department that exists uh, for a TV show. and lots of music videos and commercials, things like that, and eventually wound my way back to New York and ultimately started a family and landed in the, the warm state of Florida. Florida has been a really wonderful launching point for me because it is in fact the bridge between the past where I was always asking and hoping in New York or LA or wherever that might have been at that time and it's also given me the peace that I need as an individual to be able to, to incubate ideas and to be able to incubate teams and to be able to incubate the mental health and the physical health to go out into these other places in the world and do the work quickly, effectively, and efficiently. Having a strong work ethic is everything. To move through life with grace, with continuity, and with the ability to finish what you start. And having a work ethic is what allowed me to get up every day and do what I know I needed to do and wait for the world to catch up. If you close your eyes right now and you look at yourself in the mirror, who do you see? I see myself in everyone and I see everyone in me. I'm alive. I'm alive and very, very present. I got a lot of big ideas, a lot of big ideas, and I want to see all of them come true. I want to be really healthy. I want to have an open heart. I uh, want to be creating with magnificent minds from all over the world and just producing the highest quality work that we can produce together and make a difference in bringing our world and our communities together so that we're living side by side in a much more peaceful and open-hearted way. Why do I create the work that I do? I love that question. Much of the work that I've done, the themes have tended to be, as I look back, I'm like, wow, these themes are all about people who have experienced extraordinary pushback from society, prejudice, just really being on the outside. I wanna create those bonds in everything that I do forever, forever. That's, that's the theme. I had a, a very significant illness several years ago and I had a near-death experience. I crossed over and I came back and I went, you know what, this is really about the moments. I've, I've been 18, I've been 24, had really, really great years. These are just as good. The creativity is maybe even more ripe now than it was then. This is really about moments, 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 building the moments, living the moments, soaking in the moments, creating the moments. My job is to just be me. And I think your job is to just be you. Be kind, work hard, and follow through on what you say. There's no time to be listening to the naysayers. Just go do the thing. <laughs>